This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Fruit Ninja, which is an Xbox Live game title and available in the marketplace for $2.99. Fruit Ninja is a fun little title that can keep you entertained for a long time, even though it is quite simple. All you do is swipe your finger to chop fruit. And there will occasionally be bombs that you have to avoid. If you hit a bomb, you lose the level. Like that. You don't want to hit those with your knife. And so this is the classic mode here, where you just have to go for a highest score here, and you get three misses here. If you drop three fruit, then the game's over, and you get your score there. You'll get extra points for swiping three in a row or getting random criticals like that. Those criticals just happen at completely random times. And there you see I missed two. You get combos if you swipe three or four or five at a time. You'll get points for that. You could probably even swipe six at a time. And sometimes there's those ultra rare pieces which give you a lot of points. Those are pretty rare though. I haven't seen them that often. And that's what happens when you hit one of those. And so you can also view your leaderboards, so you can compete with your friends there. And you can check out here, Dojo, where you can upgrade your little um, blade here. All that does is just changes the visual effects of it. So if we select this blade, then my blade looks... It has random changing colors there. So that's kind of cool. Or you could select the Old Glory one here. Old Glory was what I was using before. It just has red, white, and blue stars. So, you can work through all those unlockables. Like this one, you have to slice three pineapples in a row in the classic mode in order to unlock those. And all of these really add to the replayability of the game. There's probably like ten different blades that you can unlock there. And then there's also different backgrounds you can unlock. Like if you get 125 points in classic mode, then you unlock this background. That's pretty high. Getting 125 is tough there. And there's those other backgrounds. There's this background here, I Heart Cincy, which I unlocked. And then there's the classic background. So all these things definitely add to the replayability of the game. At first I thought I was going to get bored of this game, but then I saw those unlockables and they really pushed me to keep on playing. There's also Zen Mode where it's just timed, and it doesn't matter how many you drop. You just go for a high score here within the time limit. So you can work on getting some really cool combos, like even five fruit combos and stuff. And you can also unlock some other things like... I think one of the unlockables is after the time runs up, swipe a combo, and then you'll unlock a new blade. And so that one lasts for 1 minute and 30 seconds. And the visuals in the game are pretty good. Apparently the iPhone game is a lot smoother in the frame rate, but this is pretty smooth. I've occasionally had the frame rate stutter a bit, but... That was hardly a problem. According to some users, the frame rate of like all the apples flying up is smoother on the iPhone or iPad. And I could see how it's a bit smoother, but honestly this is a really good experience. The visuals are pretty cool. All the fruit fly up in 3D and it's really entertaining to just slice through them and watch them splatter on the backboard there. And the sound effects are really good too. Has a really nice peaceful sound in the background to get you in that zen mood. And the sound effects for swiping fruit are really fun too. And in, in addition to those two modes, there's also the arcade mode. Where you go for the highest score and there are bombs in this one, but they'll only take off 10 points, so you can hit them, but you can keep on playing. 
So all those are pretty fun. Uh, and then there's those random bananas that fly across. And they slow down time and do other stuff like that. There's also some fun achievements you can go for. Some of these consist of just getting a score of zero. <laughs> so you just have to like kind of fall asleep and do nothing at all. And killing a certain amount of fruit and getting a score of 200 in classic mode. The thing I noticed about these achievements are they're all worth 10 gamer points there, but some of them are extremely difficult, like getting a score of 200 in classic mode, that would be extremely tough. And it's only worth 10 points. And then getting a score of 0 is also worth 10 points. I feel like they could have changed up the score value of those a bit, but they give you some nice incentive to keep on playing too. Overall, Fruit Ninja is a really fun title that will actually last you a long time, in my opinion. I've definitely found myself really wanting to go back and unlock more blades and more backgrounds and trying to get more achievements. The gameplay and the controls is really fluid and the visuals are great. Overall, it's actually definitely worth your $2.99. Fruit Ninja can be found in the marketplace for $2.99. Subscribe to WM Power Users to catch all the latest reviews.